I am Anil Kumar sharing with you word problems on linear equations. The question here is Anil's bank pays 7.5% simple interest per annum. At the end of one year, he had $10,965 in his bank account. How much interest did he earn in the year? So what we are assuming here is that we start with one amount, right? So we start with one amount of dollars here. And this is kept as such for the whole year, right? Getting interest rate of 7.5% per annum. Is it okay? This is per year, per year. We are assuming the amount was just resting here in the account. And after one year, we got this amount plus the interest is it okay so that is what happens so this is the condition which we are working with now the question here is we know the final amount final amount is 10,965 and we don't know what is the principal amount so we'll call this as principal amount P is it okay so that is what we we will begin with so our variable here is let the starting amount which is principal b p is that okay so that is our beginning now how does that get translated now really speaking what gets added up is the interest so if you keep money in the bank you get interest so we'll say interest is i for us and how much interest it is based on the amount and the rate of interest. So the formula is very simple. It is P times R times T. In our case, what is R and what is T? In our case, R is 7.5%, which is 7.5 over 100, or 0 0.075. Is it okay? In decimals. And what is time? Time is one year, one year. Now we can substitute these values. We know we don't know what P is, but we know other things. So we get P times 0 0.075 times 1. So that much is the interest. Okay. Now final amount is how much? 10,965. So the final amount A is actually starting amount P plus the interest. Now what we are given here is the final amount which is 10,965 we want to find principal we don't know but we know interest in terms of principal which is 0.075 P is it okay now you can combine these two P plus 0.075 which is 1.075 P is it okay so we get an equation which is 965 so we combine these two now it is kind of simple, right? So you have to just divide by this to get P, correct? Let me do it here. So we are taking this equation to the right side and we say 1.075 times principal is 10,965. So the principal should be 10,965 divided by 1.075, right? So let's use the calculator to find the answer. It is 10. 965 divided by 1.075 which is equals to 10,200 is it okay so we get principal amount of 10,200 so how much interest did he earn we will find the interest okay so the interest is how much so we know the principal now is this much interest as you know is 0 0.075 times the principal so it is 0. 0 0.075 times 10,200, right? Which is equals to, let's multiply, right? So we have 10,200 times 0 0.075. So we get $765. Do you see that? So we have interest of $765. So we can write on the answer that the interest earned is $765. Is it okay? Now the question also should be, is it the right answer? 
So let's kind of check the answer. We'll check it here. So to check, if I add principal, which is this much, and the interest, what should I get? I should get this number. Is it okay? That's what I'm saying. So let's do it. So we have 10, 200 plus 765. Well, that indeed is 10, 965. So that is the check. So at times when you do a question, you can also check your answer. Most of the time you can. It's a good practice. But I hope this gives you some idea about how to solve equations by defining variables, rearranging, and you should not be in a rush. You should see what you're going to do. And step by step, if you follow the procedure, you'll always get the right answer. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope that helps. Thank you, and all the best.